right, so here we are on Kauai. That's a KIUC smart meter. KIUC, three watts. And it's transmitting at approximately 10 times higher than an iTron, iTron smart meter. We're here next to Pat's Taco Stand in Hanalei on Kauai. And here we have my Cornet Electrosmog device, which I will try to position it so that you can see the numbers. Okay, there's the numbers. It's approximately one foot away. We just had a spike at 480,000 microwatts per meter squared. That's 480.7 milliwatts per meter squared. And you can see that clearly in the max uh, peak value at the bottom. It's emitting multiple times per minute. Right now, let's, let's see how long before the next one. I don't really want to stand here anymore. 480,000 is actually 480 times higher than the building biology guidelines for extreme concern. 364,000, a second spike right there. Less than, clearly less than a minute away after the one following. That's 360 times higher than the threshold set by building biology for extreme concern. This is one foot away from the meter. I actually got readings of, of 600 uh, microwatts per meter squared, about 20 feet away from this meter and behind uh, two trees. And that's 60% of the value of, of extreme concern, 20 feet away from the meter. 539,000 microwatts per meter squared. There you can see the meter. The Electrosmog ED75 device, approximately 12 inches away from the front of the face of the meter. This is an extreme uh, concern according to peer-reviewed published science and the, the, the misinformation and the disinformation about this issue simply has to stop. Utilities have been lying about the power output. This is again a 3 watt transmitter and it is at levels multiple times higher, hundreds of times higher than the, le than the levels which are known to damage health according to published science. The FCC guidelines are irrelevant. The FCC was never mandated to deal with health, anything to do with biological health, and it's time that people wake up about this issue. Alright, so here we are. By comparison, we're going to look at how much radiation a cell phone puts out when it makes a call. Just a normal call, you can see AT&T, three bars, and the higher the number of bars, the lower the power output of any cell phone. So this is an average call, not even a very good connection. It's going to put out more than an av well, more than, than many cell phone calls. Let's see how much radiation uh, happens when we call my phone. So go ahead and, and call. And there we see a spike to 0.9, and 1.6 was the highest it spiked just around the time, and then another spike to 0.9. So here we have, and this is about, this is actually closer. If you look at it, it's within 12 inches. So it's actually about 10 inches away. So that's closer than the smart meter test we did. And it's in the range of 530 times less power output, less radiation. This is an active call. We're getting 0 0.05, 0 0.06, uh, 1.0. That translates to, um, one, that 1.0 translates to 1,000 microwatts per meter squared. Whereas in the, with the smart meter, the KIUC 3 watt Landis and Gear smart meter, from the same distance away, it was 539 on this meter, or 539,000 microwatts. Last question, we're running out of time, uh, Steve, but I'm curious as a CTO, what's exciting you these days? What are you working on? What's the future hold? 
the most exciting thing for me is that we have an entire organization that's gotten behind data as an asset for the first time in our company's history. And we get a lot of data. We do 221 million meter reads a day, which creates about a terabyte of data every day that we're required to keep for three years. We can do nothing with that data or we can mine that data and use what we find from mining that data to the benefit of our customers. That is very exciting to me today. Hey everyone, I'm Josh and I want to offer you these two free resources. At the top on the right is a link to my feature film documentary, Take Back Your Power 2017. I've just released it on YouTube. This is the 2017 updated version. Um, it's an award-winning documentary that is investigates and helps you to connect the dots on smart meters, on the smart meter agenda, and on specific actions that you can take. Secondly, I invite you to go to the website, takebackyourpower.net, sign up and immediately receive this brand new EMF reduction guide that I've written. It's going to give you five areas in which, five simple areas in which you can take direct, easy steps to reduce your EMF exposure and to increase your vitality. There is also powerful research links towards the end and there's three pages of specifically how to deal with your utility and action steps that you can do right now to deal with the smart meter on your home. So I hope you find these resources helpful and I welcome you on this journey toward empowerment and we'll see you again soon. I am the world in which I stand.